So far you have added an adapter for the recycler view and you have also added a view holder class, an inner class, a nested class uh, which can hold a set of views for the recycler view. Now in order to display the data you need to override the on bind view holder method. Okay. What this method does is for each of your card views in the view holder it will populate the data in that card view. So the data can be text, image, anything. For, for our use case, we'll be using some text data. So the text data will be passed when, when we'll eventually call this adapter. Then you will pass the text data using the constructor. Okay? And it'll be an array of text. It can be hi, hello, whatever. And those will go at specific positions in the view holder. Okay? Now in order to do that, like in order to bind that data to the view, this method comes in handy, which is on bind view holder method. It takes two parameters, view holder and the position. View holder we have already defined and position means each position of the view holder. So as the user keeps on scrolling, the position will change and the data will change. Okay. So what you do here is you first get in, get a reference to the card view from the holder and this is the same which you defined in the view holder class okay and then you take the text view from the card view layout xml file so if you remember the card view layout xml file which we created so in that you defined a text view right and that text view had this id card text id so that is basically uh, fetched here and then you set the text to text data position so text data is nothing but the array you pass in the constructor and position is the position of the view holder so this is the way you use on bind view holder method to populate data to card views i hope uh, this clarifies this concept and you can check out the code in github and you know read the documentation also for this method so until next time see you bye